Hey there folks, Peter here with BlackRock Business and I'm just going to talk today about uh, QuickBooks Point of Sale and some firewall configurations. Uh, from time to time, your client or your secondary workstation on QuickBooks Point of Sale is is going to have problems connecting and, and that can arise sometimes from a uh, problem with the Windows firewall blocking uh, QuickBooks point of sale and the communications that it needs to have happening. So uh, I'll have a link over to this blog post and you can look at some of the different specifics here. I'm not going to go through every single one of these, uh, but I'm going to talk about TCP ports and UDP ports and then some of the programs that you need to open up. If you're using a firewall or antivirus besides Windows Defender, you may need to check on how you can add ports or programs to it and uh, just look at your firewall or antivirus uh, programs website in order to do that or give a call to their support. Uh, otherwise, this is for, like I said, QuickBooks Point of Sale uh, in Windows here. I'm going to go on the Start menu. I'm going to type in Windows Firewall. It comes up with Windows Defender Firewall. This is an overview. It just says that the firewall is on. And what we're going to do is jump into the Advanced Settings, which actually brings up this uh, more old school type firewall window. <coughs> so let's see here. I'm going to put this over there and put this here. All right, so if I went and looked at my inbound or outbound rules on Windows Firewall, I would see that I already have a lot for QuickBooks Point of Sale. And generally, QuickBooks Point of Sale during the installation, setup, and updates should open the ports that it needs to. But once in a while, something happens and uh, the ports don't get open or the programs don't get protected. Um, <clears throat> if you run QuickBooks Point of Sale for the first time and something pops up from Windows Firewall, it's best to tell it to allow what it's asking. Uh, you may have canceled or X'd out or said, no, you won't allow, and that in that case you'd have to do this. Uh, this can also be a troubleshooting step for if your QuickBooks Point of Sale is, you know, not communicating among the different workstations. <clears throat> So in here for TCP, I'm going to say inbound rule. If I was going to do this, I'd say new rule. And right now I'm just going over these right here. Actually, if you want to, you can copy and paste them. So I'll just say uh, I'm going to open up the ports, specific local ports, paste. There they all are. Uh, it does accept ranges as well. Now allow these connections. Uh, I'm just going to say mainly private. Uh, this this depends on what type of network you are on. Uh, if I looked at what type of network I was on right now in my network settings, we can see that, uh, oh, strange, I am on a public network, I guess. That's kind of odd should be a private network, but I just changed my router recently, so it probably defaulted to public. So I'm just going to call this uh, QB POS TCP ports. I can, you can really name it whatever you want. It's just something to remember it by. There it is, my new rule to have all those ports open. Now that was incoming, as we can see. Now outgoing, we have UDP ports, and we need these ones open. So I'm going to copy that. Make a new rule. Oh, sorry, I gotta choose outbound here. New rule. Uh, ports. We got uh, UDP, and I'm just gonna once again match this up here. <coughs> so we are going to allow the outgoing connections on all the different types of networks. We're gonna call it QBPOS UDP ports, finish, and there's our new rule there. 
Now, we do have executable files that we also want to allow that are listed on this blog post. You can click on the blog post below to get to those, and uh, I'll just show you an example of how you would do one of these. So, let's see. I'm going to... And you would probably do these for inbound and outbound. New rule, uh, program, and then the program path. You may even be able to copy and paste the program path as well. So I'm going to go to the C drive, x86. Uh, we're going to go to Intuit, I believe. And here we have uh, different point of sales. Newest one here is 18, so we'll go there. And you're going to add a number of these different programs as listed on the blog post. So I'll just grab the main program, QBPOS. Next, I'm going to allow connections to and from that program. Next, QBPOS EXE. So now I have a rule for that. And you'll, you'll go through that for um, all of these different program files so that they have the proper communication channels across your network. I uh, hope this helps out in troubleshooting any connectivity issues with QuickBooks Point of Sale. Uh, don't forget to jump on over to blackrockbusiness.com. We have a lot of tutorials, tips, blog posts, videos, and we'd love to help you out with your QuickBooks Point of Sale.